Alright. So I probably have to wait a while for the fishing mod, which is fine. That's okay. Do you have patch notes? Are they in Steam? Or are they in the Discord? Ooh. Yes. Awesome. Let's look at patch notes real quick. New content and features. New festivals and events. We knew that was coming. You talked about it. The Desert Festival is a three-day event in spring, which can be accessed after the bus is repaired. Ooh. Kind of more incentive to get stuff done. Two mini fishing festivals, Trout Derby and Squid Fest, and a new environmental event in summer. Added a mastery system, accessed via a new area, which grants powerful perks and items. <gasps> Wait, that's cool. New farm type. He uh, talked about that on Twitter. New NPC dialogue that includes custom gift reactions, dynamic dialogues, custom flower dance, acceptance dialogue, restored missing dialogue like Emily and Shane's flower dance custom accept dance dialogues. Uh, relationship crap. I don't really care about that. Uh, you can now get multiple pets after getting max hearts with your starter pet. <gasps> so you can have a cat and a dog now. Wait, that's amazing. I love it. Uh, Ginger Island is now visible on the map. Let's go. That's cool. I've never done any of the Ginger Island stuff either. So I'm hoping to get that far this time. Uh, the world map shows your actual position within the world in real time instead of showing you at a fixed point for each location. In multiplayer, you'll see other players' positions in real time as well. Pets that love you will sometimes give you gifts. Oh? Wait, that's amazing. NPCs now have winter outfits. Cute, cute. Festivals uh, now have map and dialogue changes every second year, except the Night Market and Desert Festival. Uh, golden Joja Parrot, which you can pay to find all remaining golden walnuts on Ginger Island. Added Perfection Waivers, a new Joja way to bypass perfection challenges. Added a prize machine in Lewis's house. You can collect prize tickets as a reward for completing quests and other special orders and from repeating Egg Ice Festival wins. A bookseller now comes to town twice a season. Wait, that's cool. Uh, added mystery boxes. Added a big tree with a quest line, which ultimately gives you some new neighbors. Wait, this update's huge! Oh my gosh, added four new crops. <gasps> new crops? What the heck? This is huge! Wait! Carrots, summer squash, broccoli, and powder melon, which can't be purchased at the store, and two new giant crops. Wait, they can't be purchased at the store, so how do you get them? Added four new home renovations, dining room, attic, expanded corner room, and cubby. And added new items. I wish I could be as happy as she is while reading about new crops. Right? <laughs> That's exciting, though. Um, a big chest, which has almost double the size of a regular chest. It can also be placed onto a regular chest to upgrade it. Dehydrator, which turns fruit into dried fruit and mushrooms into dried mushrooms. A mushroom log, which produces mushrooms and interacts with nearby trees. A bait maker, which can produce fish-specific baits. A heavy furnace, which can produce more bars at a time and yield bonus bars. A fish smoker, produces smoked fish, doubling the value of the fish. Doubling the value of the fish. Wait, that's awesome because before you couldn't cook fish unless you built a kitchen in your house. You couldn't even cook it. And now you can 
cook it and sell it for more money. Wait, that's dope. You get one by default when starting a new Riverlands farm. Ooh, wait, that's cool. Text signs, which can be written on. An anvil, which allows you to re-roll trinkets. Mini forge, which acts as a dwarvish forge. Statue of Blessings, which grants a random blessing each day. Statue of the Dwarf King, which allows you to select one of two mining buffs for the day. Tent Kits, which allow you to build a tent, which can be slept in for one night. Genius! This is amazing! What a That's such a great ad! So now, if you're going to go to the mine, and you really want to be there like all fucking day, you can. And you just pitch a tent on your way home, so you don't get you know, robbed and whatever when you pass out. <laughs> Wait, I love that. That's a great update. Uh, treasure totems, which spawn a ring of diggable spots. Mystic seeds, which grow a unique tree that can be tapped. Mystic syrup, a valuable tapper product. Deluxe bait, gets fish biting faster than regular bait. Challenge bait, which allows you up to three fish to be caught at once but loses one each time a fish leaves the bobber. Can't wait to be sucked into this for next week. I can't wait to be sucked into this for the next rest of my life. <laughs> uh, deluxe worm bin, which upgrades the regular worm bin to produce deluxe bait. 19 unique books of power, which grants special perks. Skill books, which grant experience in a skill. Book of stars, which grants experience in, in all skills. Moss, a new resource type which grows on old trees. Mixed flower seeds, sonar bobber, which shows the fish on your line before you catch it, raisins, which have a special use, makes sense because we can make dried stuff now, sea jelly, river sea jelly, river jelly, and cave jelly, a new item that you can fish. Interesting. Seven trinkets, which grant powers and related to combat. Red, purple, and green fireworks. Star drop tea, which makes an excellent gift for anyone. 25 new hats. 280 new furnitures. New unique furniture catalogs, which contain themed furniture sets. 41 new floor styles. 24 new wallpapers. Golden animal crackers. Mannequins, which can be dressed. Spouse, por spouse portraits, which can be purchased after reaching 14 hearts. Butterfly powder, which allows you to remove pets. What? Uh, bluegrass starter, moss soup, and secret items. Added goby fish. Added some new remix bundles. You can now place hats on cats and dogs. Ah! <laughs> Wait, that's so cute! You can now upgrade the copper pan into steel, gold, and iridium pans. You can now enchant pans with archaeologists, generous... Fisher and reaching. Added a special item and powers tab to replace the wallet. The wallet area now tracks a selection of progress markers. Added an animals tab that shows all your pets and animals. You can now build pet bowls in Robin's shop with three variants. The farmhouse and pet bowl can now be moved through Robin's menu. The farm computer can now be used anywhere to see a summary of that location instead of only the farm. The mini jukebox can now be used on the Ginger Island farm. Added a new interaction with your ho house, <laughs> with your horse. <laughs> Added a new side tunnel to the quarry mine. Uh, the community center fish tank now becomes an actual fish tank when you complete it. Oh, yay, that's cute. Uh, added more secrets and Easter eggs. Added two new cat and dog breeds. Oh, added turtles. Added eight new achievements, four new cabin variants, a few more accessory options in chapter creation. Oh, character tr creation. Because <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> uh, new bobber machine in Willie's shop with 39 bobber styles to choose from. New styles unlocked by catching new kinds of fish. New farm, yeah. Added a cameo appearance to Morrow's 14 heart event. Emily has a new rare socialized daily quest if you completed the introduction quest. Bobber. <laughs> you can now add anchors, treasure chests, and pearls to fish tanks. 
Pierre now sells a few random items at the Winter Star booth at a markup. Ooh. Added a jingling sound when running with the Cinder Clown shoes on. <laughs> Baby Toss now has a chance to crit. I don't know what that is. What is Baby Toss? Um, added a Skull Cavern statue that can be used to toggle hard mode in Skull Cavern after completing. Um, I don't know how to say that name. Is it Kai? Throwing a baby? I guess so. <laughs> uh, hard mode in the Skull Cavern after completing Kai's challenge. That's um, Kai is on the on Ginger Island. Hello there. Hello, Dark Knight. Welcome back. Add an additional chest to Skull Cavern, levels 200 and 300. Add a unique Skull Cavern chest appearance for level 100, 200, and 300 chests. Added a high note C5 to the flute block. Added Iridium Golem to Wilderness Farm. Um, changes for mod authors. Visual improvements. Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much patch notes. I'm doing all right. How are you today? Is it just QI? General Kenobi? <laughs> Yush. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Visual improvements, waterfalls, holiday decorations in winter, pathstone variants, jack lanterns after Stardew Valley Fair in the fall, uh, seasonal world map variants, new rare ambient critter, rare summer butterflies, uncommon little brown bird variant, world map to better match in game locations. They redrew the world map completely. Played Star Rail and highest level in simulator. Nice. Uh, boat journey textures are now seasonal and reflect the latest valley map. The bus stop now has a wider map. Though the distance to traverse it is the same. This is to prevent block bars from appearing at the sides of the screen. Interesting. Uh, jelly pickles, wines, and juices are now colored based on the ingredient item. Many town trees are now actual tree objects, though you can't cut them down. Slight adjustment to the way items pop out. When dug from the ground, updated volcano gold ore node sprite. Uh, some trees have a chance to lose their leaves in the fall. River banks and lake shores in the mountain town and forest areas are now less jagged in some places. Graphical improvements to building interiors. Improve the art of George and Evelyn's roof. If you destroy a mine's chest, it now shows some graphic debris. Added special backplates to Fortune Teller TV show if you get a perfectly good or perfectly bad luck day. Oh, that's cute. Uh, then I made a clean up and friend list because some of them were not active or not playing anymore. And I delete you and say excited to add you again. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> um, lighting changes. It now gets dark an hour earlier in winter. Night tiles. Um, now activate an hour earlier in all seasons. Indoor daytime lighting now smoothly transitions. Night lighting in non-farmhouse indoor locations is now slightly darker. Farmhouse lighting on rainy days is now slightly moody. TVs and trees of the winter star now give off light at night. Added light sources to window light glows. Uh, made some improvements to the intro bus drive cutscene. At night, hats are now drawn at the nighttime color in the game menu portraits. Okay, removed a uh, lighting quality option. It's now permanently set to ultra quality. Oh, interesting. Submerged fishing bobber is now recolored automatically to match the water. Multiplayer changes. You can now have up to eight players on PC. Let's go. Many improvements for multiplayer performance and stability. That includes Steam players will now use Steam multiplayer authentication, potentially improving connection issues significantly. Large multiplayer packets are now compressed, reducing bandwidth usage and latency. Awesome. Uh, internal optimizations to data syncing. Let's go. All great things. Hello, Jules. How are you? We're going over the patch notes. 
Uh, you now need the same build number in addition to version to join a multiplayer server. This prevents crashes due to game changes between builds. Ah, so if you're not all on the same version, um, you'll have a hard time playing together. Accepting a QI challenge that increases mines difficulty now only kicks other players out of the affected mine type, but not all mines. Purple shorts no longer show a chat message when placed into the luau shop. Uh, jump down, mineshaft sound now plays for all players in the level rather than just the jumper. And then there's a bunch of balance changes. Look like they changed some pricing. Limits on some casino stock. You can now buy all brazier recipes in Robin's shop. Item drop changes. Chopping down a fruit tree now yields the appropriate fruit sapling. Chopping down a tea bush now gives you back a tea sapling. Uh, adjust gift taste for several NPCs. Ooh. We're going to have to wait for them to update the uh, wiki for that. <laughs> uh, XP changes. Mushroom logs and mushroom boxes now grant five foraging XP on harvest. Interesting. Berry bushes now grants one foraging per berry. Harvesting forage crops with wild seeds now gives much less foraging experience. Uh, adjusted Jumino cart. That's one of the games inside the bar. Worm bins now need lower fishing level. Loom now has a higher chance of double cloth. Crafting recipes. Bundle changes. Remix specialty fish bundle. Reward five dish of the sea to make it consistent with the classic bundle. Every fish bundle now gives deluxe bait. Improved some community center rewards. Ooh. I'm not drinking mayonnaise. <laughs> Sorry. I had mayonnaise on my egg sandwich this morning. Does that count? <laughs> uh, rebalanced crop very event. Friendship gain is reduced by 33% for spouses. Oh, so it's harder to keep your spouse? Is that what I'm reading? Quality of life changes. Oh, you can't plant trees in town anymore. Boosted quarry output, slightly increased time. Randomization no longer produces simple repeating patterns in many cases. Clay farming, mushroom level prediction, crab pot offset, blah, blah, blah. Intended for speed. Oh, they're trying to be more efficient for speedrunners. Okay. Uh, performance improvements. NPCs now shove chests out of their way instead of destroying them. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. If Pam won't be coming to the bus for any reason, she now leaves a sign informing you and you can drive yourself to the desert. More sounds, potential, mainly players, tools, and machines. Positional sounds now fade with distance when off screen instead of cutting off. Ooh. Soften the bomb fuse sound. The music now ducks out and then resumes when certain sounds are played instead of stopping. You can now uh, strafe while charging a watering can or hoe, allowing you to reposition your tool hit area without changing your facing direction. Oh, cool. Refill slingshot ammo by right-clicking. Planting cactus seeds on the farm now fails with a message instead of the seed dying overnight. Holding a tea sapling or seed over a garden pot now shows the green-red placement tile. Um, you can no longer pick up rugs if there's something on it. Makes sense. Uh, checking a pet bowl will now show a text bubble with the pet's name. Added a new post fishing sparkling text to indicate when you've caught something for the first time. Torches can now be placed on sprinklers. You can now sit in chairs during festivals. Oh, cute. You can now move fill chests by hitting them twice. With a heavy tool, previously only with bare hands, the chests will shift one space at a time. Oh, you can move them. Okay. Place flooring underneath buildings. 
crystallariums now have to be removed and replaced before a different gem can be put inside. Daily billboard quests now have a more informative tracker notification when you make progress on them. Oh, that's cool. Small checkmark icon on special orders you completed before, only on town special orders board. You can now skip the pet adoption scene, which causes you to adopt the pet. Wait, so you just wouldn't have a pet? That's kind of lame. Reduce the amount of time you need to push against a pet before they start shaking and then let you pass through them. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> Reduce time for mini obelisk warp. Uh, male farmers are no longer forced into wedding clothes on their wedding day, so you can choose your own outfit for the wedding. Well, that's nice. Uh, emptying a fish pond with fish still in it will cause the remaining fish to flop out of the pond. Slime hutch changes, UI improvements, add an hourglass cursor shown when you're waiting for something to load on the title screen. Notification messages in the bottom left corner now last 50% longer before, <coughs> before going away. Sound in the night events now show an icon on the screen to indicate that a sound is playing. Oh, I like that. Dialogue question... Selectors no longer remain selected when you hover away from them to reduce accidental selections. Robin's building menu now shows how many days a building will take. Uh, Marine's animal shop now centers the camera on an appropriate building when purchasing an animal. Marnie's animal shop now shows prices in the tooltip in case the tooltip covers the price display. If an item menu exists while you're holding an item, the item is now always retrieved. Previously, only some item menus like cheats would do this. The achievement menu now lists all potential achievements. Hidden achievements you haven't unlocked yet are shown as question marks. The museum reward menu now prevents picking up a reward that won't fit in your inventory. The museum reward menu now lets you exit while holding a reward. It'll be added to your inventory if possible, otherwise it'll drop to your feet. The safe creation farm selector now has two columns instead of one and no longer overlaps the back button on small screens. The shipping menu category changes no longer take up the whole screen as long as the screen is beyond a minimum size. Inventory tool tips for food that gives off buff now shows the buff duration. The map now closes when you press the map button again. Exiting the Jumino note menu from within the game menu now returns to where you were in the game menu rather than exit the menu. Shops now turn K item names, which would overflow the menu width. Uh, shops have a slight delay. Buy sell items to avoid double clicks going on ceiling. Deleting a save on PC is now much faster. Uh, reduced loading time. Greenhouse is somehow removed. It now rebuilt next time you load and save. Oh, interesting. Background is now a drop-down option, which includes standard, graphical, or none. Uh, attempting to put something in a machine, but failing will no longer cause you to try and consume an, or activate the object you're holding. Kent intro event and Robin flute block event are now skippable. PC, you can now shift plus right click an item on the toolbar to throw it out of your inventory if possible. Oh. You can now press Y or N key to confirm or cancel the Leaf Festival confirmation box. Hold shift left. I'm sorry. Holding left shift and left click plus one when buying from a shop will attempt to buy a stack of 999. <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of stuff. Other changes. Oh my gosh. There's so much. This update is gigantic, you guys. Holy shit. So this is all bug fixes. NPC fixes, multiplayer fixes. There's a lot. Lots of UI changes, which is good. Uh, fixes for mods. More bug fixes. There's so much. This is a huge update. Holy cow. There's so much here. Okay. I'm not reading all of that. We got through like most of the important stuff. If you want, you can go see all the bug fixes. Um, that's pretty much everything that's at the bottom that we didn't read. But that's a lot. There's a lot here. Okay. So what I want to do is... 
Um, I think I want to turn my sound off because there's new sound effects and stuff. And I want to make sure we can hear them. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do... Oh, that was really loud. Um, can I not get to... Ugh, can I not get to the settings yet? I don't think I can. Alright, so we're going to do a new... New! <gasps> Look it! I'm going to turn that off for now because it's really loud in my ears. Um, this is the new Meadowlands farm. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. So we're going to pick the new one. Surely there's like a patch where you can grow crops. That's kind of what they did for like the beach one and stuff too. Um, <clears throat> what should our farm name be? Um, farm name. My farm name is Farm Farm. <laughs> that fits you so perfectly. <laughs> um, let's do. Hmm, is this the settings? It is okay. I'm not going to do one year completion. Uh, modifies are words that appear in the mind. Hmm. I think I'll keep it the same. They said that they changed some stuff. <clears throat> oh, this is just on creation and stuff I can change. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a white kitty now. Look at it. And I think this dog is new. Oh, no, this one's new. Wait. Wait, they added like two of each, two new breeds for each one. Because we got the white cat and the black cat. Let's pick the black kitty. And then... Green. You like blue hair. Um, hairstyle. Wanna do braids? Yeah, I think I'll do these. Um, it's like a dress. <laughs> sure, why not? Dress overalls. Let's go. Okay, farm name. Let's do, um, hmm. Let's do Oh, I got it. Hubba Farm. <laughs> Should we skip the intro or do you want to see the intro? <clears throat> there was a change in one of the animation scenes in the intro. But I don't know if that I'll notice it because I always skip the intro. I'm just going to skip the intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
loading. Look at the inside is all different. It's so cute. Okay, um, options. The music in this game is always so loud. For no reason. Oh, you guys can't even hear it. One sec. Where is it? Uh, game. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. All right, can you guys hear it okay? Can you hear me okay? We have some new things up here. <gasps> okay, so we're starting out with chicks on the new farm. You automatically get a coop with two chickens, which is cool. Special items and powers. The collectibles, this all kind of seems the same. Um, farm, farm. <laughs> I'm just checking. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lock that. That stuff's all fine. Screenshots, I got my zoom buttons. Okay, that's all good. <gasps> Look at the map! It does look different. Farm, farm, farm. <laughs> Look at how cute! Wait, this looks nice. It's a lot more accurate looking. This is different right here. They said they added waterfalls. There's waterfalls on the farm! Okay, let's go look at the farm. <clears throat> we got hay instead of crops. It's horrible, I hate it. <laughs> Shut up. Can I turn this on? No. How do I turn it on? I can't? Okay. There's a pitchfork and a lamp. Wait, this is so cute. <gasps> oh, okay. This is the bluegrass. <gasps> Look at the waterfall. This is amazing! No! Everything's in my way! I just want to see stuff! bit of space for crops, but not much. We have a whole ass river. Hello, frog. I'm assuming we'll be able to build a bridge across at some point. Wait, where's our cave? There's also a pond. 
There's a lot of like fenced in. Oh, it's all fenced in. Okay. Where's the cave at though? Is it up there? It's gotta be, right? Let's go over this way. I'm zoomed out as far as I can so I can try to see everything. <laughs> can't see. Wait, there's stairs over here. Behind this tree. There's no way, like, up. Clear this area for the chickies. I love that you can start out with a coop. So now we just have to focus on getting um instead of a coop getting um a silo right away. Which is kinda cool. I wonder if this fence will deteriorate like the regular fences do. Hello, little babies. Aww. Yeah, they're cute. Do you want some food? Here you go. There you go. Have some food. Silo required. Okay. That's where the hay comes out, right? Okay. I remember now. <clears throat> All right, um, I don't have enough wood for a chest yet. <gasps> Tech sign. I kind of want to make sure I have uh, pathways cleared out here. Um, we can still do some crops right in front here, too. Which I probably will do. We're gonna have to go buy some, though. Because <laughs> we didn't start with crops, we started with hay for our little chickens. Of wood laying around so we can get a chest though. So if there's no cave. What about when Demetrius comes, or does that not happen on this farm? Because that seems odd. Because that, him coming to the farm is like a really nice perk when he does the science experiment in the cave. It's like a good way to get mushrooms and stuff. So the focus for this farm is actually going to be animals, 
because it's like they talk about the grass that grows and stuff. Which is cool. I don't mind focusing on the animals and just doing, you know, less crops. I'm actually going to run out of, um, but I can make a chest now. So, oh, pff. I can't make one, but I don't have anywhere to put it. I'll just throw those on the ground for now. And let's put a chest right here. And I'll put my tools that I don't need right now in there. This grass and stone and stuff can go in here. I'm going to plant those bees. I have them, so might as well plant them. I'll put the hay in here too because I don't need it. I'll put this in here and then I guess... Go to town and check stuff out. Let's see if anything else is different. And look for wormies. This is looking very nice. Town pretty much still looks the same. Abigail! Hello. That's right, I heard someone new was moving on a town. Oh, onto that old farm? Yeah, I read good guys. Holy shit. I'm Sam, good to meet you. Hi, Sam. Pam! Pam! You drunk? Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Alright, hello, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. You wish, bro. Okay, so the balloon indicates when the bookseller comes. We got the egg festival and the flower dance. That's all the same. And I think the birthdays are all the same. Oh, it's already 5 p.m. Dang. Is that Leah? Yeah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You too. What's up, fam? We got Maru and Penny over here. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, here I am. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Hello. Can they see me do this? Nope. Tee -hee. Tee -hee. Oh, there's Elliot. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many conversations. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Um, introductions. We already met ten people. Wow. That's pretty good. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they are mature, harvest an egg. Okay. So instead of the usual thing where they want you to do the turnips, because they give you turnips or whatever to start with, or whatever it is. Is it turnips? No, it's something else. No, it's turnips. Oh, uh, you have to do the harvest an egg thing. Let's go see what's on the beach. Any wormies? No wormies. around be back tomorrow I'll go on fishing okay. can I walk all the way across here yet nope <laughs> wouldn't that have been an amazing update <laughs> can I light this fire nope <sighs> 
300 wood. I'm probably gonna worry about the silo first, though. Is anybody over here we can talk to? Hello, Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Er, hi, Clint, I'm Chi. <laughs> so awkward. <gasps> Trash! It's locked. We close at six. Okay. Wait, can I craft a tent right away? No, I can't. I probably gotta learn it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go in the bar and see if there's anybody else in here we can meet. Shane's here, of course. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I don't know. You douche. Good question. Goodbye. Let's talk to Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Shane is my BB. Shane is a dill hole. He's too dependent. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. That's where we are right now, darling. He is my dog! <laughs> you can have him. He's all yours. This box back here, there's a secret. I can't get it yet. But there's a secret box back there. <sighs> okay, this is new. That wasn't there before. You know, we're just wandering around in the dark, seeing who we run into. <gasps> waterfall! Was that a waterfall wasn't always there? Right? That's new. Wow. Oh wait. Shane! Shane! Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Oh, Sebastian, not Shane. <laughs> Shane's the drunk guy. <laughs> That's what I meant. Sebastian's the emo kid. The guy's hard at work over there. It seems like there's more texture in the water, too. They said they added more decorations to the map, so... something I can pick up. It's so dark. Nope. Drink something? Okay, one second. I feel like your house should give off a glow. That would have been a good lighting change. Um, I think I need a new drink. Ow! Yum. I 
All right, I'm gonna check the TV. Weather report. Your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's gonna be rainy all day. Okay. Fortune teller. Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Oh. And apparently the screen background on the TV changes depending on uh, what your luck is that day. So you can do like a quick glance. <gasps> you got mail. I keep finding cool stuff and my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. <gasps> More mail. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Okay, Willie. Um, I'm going to save this for whenever we can have a recycler. And I'm going to save that. I have three little crops. <clears throat> I'm gonna go buy more crops uh, when the shop opens. Oh, hi! Hello, Dawn! Oh, hello, little chickies! You still has food? I'm gonna feed you anyway. Got some little chickies. He's so cute. This really pretty waterfall. So I wonder if you have an option to build a bridge. Looks like there's stairs. I think maybe that's the cave. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Let's put this away. Um, let's get these two things. Close the update. So far, so good. Uh, we just got started. We just finished day one. Um, uh, visit the beach. Okay. Um, the new farm is cool so far. It says it's not really meant for farming, it's more for animals, but there's still sp space for farming, for sure. Um, I really want to know what's over here. So I'm gonna cut this tree down and see what's behind here. They're hiding something back here. Oh, okay. So that's just where the warp thing is. Where is the cave at? If that's there, there's the spot for your spouse later in the animal spot. Hmm. Oh no, I can't get that stuff. Where the heck is the cave? I thought it might be up there, but I don't see any way to get up there. Whoops. Hello? Oh, I have the wrong tool. I don't see it anywhere. I can't zoom out anymore. If I go over here. Oh, 
Let's find this tree. Is there a bridge? I don't see any bridges. There is a bridge. Okay. Uh, that's probably Grandpa's grave thing. Or it's the cave. Or the cave is further up. Dang, that's the only way across. No, my wood! No, it all fell in the water! Sedge! <laughs> Dang. That was sad. Alright, well... Down here. Because my other thought was maybe the cave's over here somewhere. Um, but I think we just can't go over there. Hababa farm. That looks like the cave up there, but there's no way to get up there. So it's gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. Weird! It also means we have to upgrade our axe like as soon as we can. So that we can break the big stump. Cause what? Uh, I don't remember which style of axe you need for that. I think they're talking about. So this big tree is new. There's gonna be quests later in the game that have to do with the tree. Which is kind of neat. <gasps> Dandelion. so that I don't accidentally use energy. <gasps> Bunny. Going good, Mayor. I really need to talk to this guy. Parsnips! That's what they were. What I say? Turnips. <laughs> some of these. And some cauliflower. And a couple of bean starters. For now. to get ourselves started. A right potato? I don't even have any potatoes yet. It's too early. Too soon. Alright, let's see if we can catch Willy before it's too late. It might be too late though. I don't think I'm going to make it there by five. I'm coming, Willy! Don't leave! Yeah, I made it! Let's go. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I had to go all the way to the fishing house or not. <laughs> run, Chi, run! <laughs> Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. 
here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. <gasps> Let's go! Bamboo pole. Oh no. Um, we'll get rid of this. Never buy, only sell fish. Yes. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Rip dandelion. <laughs> yes, I threw out the weed. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells! <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. <laughs> me old pappy! She is weed free. Nah, -uh, there's some at home in my chest. <laughs> Alright, you want to see how bad of a fisher I am? This is why I usually use a mod. Ready? It's so hard! <laughs> First catch. A herring. Oh no! Oh, goodbye dandelion. That was way harder than I ever wanted it to be. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving in to the valley. It's not very common these days. <gasps> so much stuff to pick up that I have no space in my inventory. It's full of crops that I don't have enough energy to plant. I want to go this way and see what's over here. Never long click because the speed accelerates so fast. Yeah, I struggle with the mini game for the fishing in this. I usually use a mod, but because the update just came out, the mods are all broken still. <laughs> I just want to see what's down here because... It seemed as though... Oh, spring onions! So that was this that's the same. But there's some waterfalls over here. No mods. No. Nope. No, no, not that kind of <gasps> look at the waterfalls! These are new. They're so pretty. Who wants to check me? You're right there. Look at how pretty. They're so nice. Just doing a little bit of exploring. Mods are broke. Yeah. That's where Hat Mouse will be. This is so pretty. I love this addition to the map. Very pretty. Now, if only they could have a connection from the beach to over here. That would be great. Can you say hi to the wizard? Excuse me, Mr. Wizard. Are you home? It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. Let me in, sir! Yeah, no fishing mod for me. There's the new big tree. Oh yeah, that's 
sorry, my inventory is full. Don't mind me, just making my way downtown. I mean, home. Alright, I'm gonna sell the fish I caught. I don't know if I need a herring for the thing yet, but... We're gonna do that. Like that. I'm gonna need this in the morning. And I'm gonna make another chest. Twig and Petal. I wish I could rename them. That would be cool. But I can't. I'm going to put this chest over here in the chicken coop. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah. And then I'm going to come over here. Get the hay. And put it over here in this chest for the chumkins. There you go, chumkins. Alright, I'll go to sleep and then we'll plant some crops in the morning. So we can make some quick moolah. Sleepy time. <gasps> Level 1 foraging, let's go! We made 37 gold from one fish. <laughs> mm. Fortune teller. Neutral. Weather report. Number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. Beautiful sunny tomorrow. Okay. it all up. I don't want to put the beans in the bottom row because um, they have this pole and they're going to go tall and then I can't see what's behind them. And it's annoying. Just figure out where are we gonna put a grain silo. <clears throat> Cause I'm gonna want one. Just don't know where to put it. Wait, what's over here? Wait, I haven't been over there. I think it's just fence. <gasps> There's the cave! Let's go! It was over here the whole time.
Dang, okay. Nice. I didn't want to hit that one. <gasps> oh, scary noise. Um, and then I just need to check for... So for the stumps, we need the copper axe. Okay. So we just need the first upgrade. To be able to get across the bridge over there. Down here, got that sorted. There's some of these weeds. So I'm probably gonna want most of this down here to be grass. We'll probably clear out the regular grass so that more of the blue grass can grow. And then we'll plant crops up by the house. And then the grassy areas can all be where the, the animal buildings go, maybe. Gonna throw this on the ground. Put another chest. This will be for this stuff. Like mining type stuff. So I'm gonna make this chest uh, black or dark gray. This one's gonna be green. It has all the plants, organic stuff, and my tools is what will go in here. Like so. And we'll go up here and see who else we can meet. We still need to meet everybody. We still need to forage the other three spring forageable things as well. Are you home? Knock knock. <gasps> Hi, Linus. A oh, stranger. Hello. Hi, stranger. <gasps> Horseradish. I can't remember. Can you talk to this guy? No. Let's see what he's doing. Alrighty then. Wait, is there anything new on this side of the map? It's just these islands? I haven't seen any wormies yet. Alright, well I can't really get over there, I guess. <gasps> Horseradish! Let's 
go talk to Robin. Hello, Maru. Oh, let's go meet your daddy. Hello, Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. Don't mind me just coming into your house. Hope that's okay. What can I do for you? Farm buildings. I want to know. A silo. 100 gold, 100 stone, 10 clay, and 5 copper bars. And they added how long it takes to build it. That's new. Cool. So. That's what we need. We can't get to the mine for a bit yet. We have for the guy to move the rubble out of the way. Yeah, so they like fenced off this section and added the waterfalls in. Up, to, up top there. Wait, this is new? What is this? There's a whole thing up here. This must be for one of the new festivals or something, huh? Don't mind me, just clearing out your weeds, Joja Mart. We already met Sebastian. We already met Pam. Let's go into the Joja Mart and meet this douche. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris. Hello, Morris. No thanks. Goodbye. Wait, did I actually talk to Robin? No. Oh, I did. Okay, good. So I have a lot of people to meet. I meet all the kids. The chillins. We gotta meet the chillins. And I don't think Gunther counts. Because he never leaves the place. Speak for yours. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, Mac. How are you? I mean, Gunter. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. This is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Okay. Sure thing. Somebody stuffy is over here. It's ragged, but still cute. Aww. Ah! Was this always there? It had to have been. It might have been added in the Ginger Island update, actually. Your voice is low and the sound of the steps in the game are very loud. Yeah. Stardew Valley is very loud. In general. Uh, let's see. Is that better? <laughs> the rest of the sounds are good. How's that? Is that good? It was just the footsteps that were literally making my ears bleed. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like that, you know? Oop. I almost cleared the garbage can and Alex was right there. We need to meet Haley still. 
she here? She's in her room. Come out. Jody. Hello. Oh, you're not exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Oh, that was kind of rude, Jody. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says I'm to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Good thing, because I'm in your house. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. People from this town judge you for going through trash cans. All the while, they throw so much useful shit in the good condition. I know! Like a whole can of soda? In the garbage. Perfectly drinkable. For why? Makes no sense. Alright, who do we have to meet still? We gotta meet uh, Marnie and Harvey. Okay, okay. Harvey, are you here? It's closed. Dang. People are like, so by yesterday. Well, might as well go in the garbo, right? The local anchovy population is starting to threaten our s other species. If you can fish three of them for me, it would be a big help. Anchovy? I don't know if I can fish. I suck at fishing. I don't have my Magdalene on. <laughs> I'm not going to accept any quests right now anyway. <gasps> I got a bread. Let's go. I like bread. You think I can forage up here? Nope. But they updated the map and everything, Mac. It's cool. Let's see if I go to the map. They added... They made it more accurate. And added this part here. These waterfalls are new. Um, this waterfall here is new. And you can't walk through here anymore. It's like fenced off. And yeah. But they said they changed the map and made it more accurate. Which is cool. Um, I thought they said they added Ginger Island. Maybe that's over here? Huh, I'm not sure. I'll be playing until Maserat because I can't play without the instant fish map. That's how I play too. I probably just won't fish for now very much. And I'll hold off doing um, quests for people for a minute. The mods and stuff are updated, but... Um, Uh, uh, Smampy. Like, I'm sorry to concern Ape, but the fishing mini game is dead. It's so hard! I have a really hard time with it. I really struggle with the mini game. It's hard for me. I think, I mean, I'm okay with, like, the added little bit of challenge. I just wish it wasn't that difficult. But they added a lot of cool new things. Um, there's now like a tent kit. It's unnecessarily stressful. Yes, agreed. Uh, there's now a tent kit that you can make or buy or whatever. So that if you're coming back from the mine or something and you're going to be late, you can just camp out. Um, instead of passing out and losing your stuff. <laughs> so there's like a... The, this update is giant. I read We read the patch notes earlier. I don't know if you were here or not. But I went through the patch notes earlier and I was surprised at how big this update is. I wasn't expecting it to be that large. There's a lot.
I was watching the Destiny 2 stream alongside yours. Oh, I got you. <laughs> if you check out the patch notes, though, on the Stardew Valley website, there's a lot. There's a lot that's huge. I was not expecting the patch notes to be that long. I would, but... <laughs> I don't know how to read. Oh, Sag. Planted the things. That looks like a rotten something. How unfortunate. I can't get up there to get those. Why wasn't that in the fixes? Oh, you want to get to where your tree falls? Too bad. <laughs> We're gonna make it fall somewhere you can't go. Oh, okay. No problem. That's fine then. Apparently there's also just a bunch of stuff inside my house. If I go on the porch, can I get it? I can. <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> you know what? This tree can stay. This one too. You know what? This rack? This rack can stay. <gasps> Wait, I didn't check on the chickens yesterday. I suck. Oh my god, look at you! Hi, chickens. You got eggies. I am inventory's full. I'll get those in a second. You guys can come out here. seeds. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum. Why does my want oh there it is. I'm just blind and dumb. <clears throat> nope, I wanna eat it. Yep, eat the bread. Ow. Hello, chickens! Look at them. They're so cute. <gasps> now I can pick up the eggies! Yay! Yay! 100 gold! Let's go! Reach primary level one and craft a scarecrow. Okay. Build a silo. Right, we were gonna do that anyway. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I love this new farm map. Look at you guys, you're so cute. I can't change their names. Let's, what is this? Change home building. Sell. No, we don't want to sell. 
Um, let's change their names. Petal will be... I don't really like Petal. How about Flower instead? Twig. <laughs> How about... Uh, let's see... What about something tree related? Instead of twig. Or why don't we just change it to twiggy? There we go. That's that's more cute. There you go. Yeah, you guys are more cute. You're more cuter this way. Uh, I'm gonna keep some of the eggies. I'm gonna sell the one that's worth a lot. I love those little chuck ins, they're so cute! I love that we get a farm where we can start out with the chickens. It's so fun. I didn't mean to click it! Stop! The game's bullying me. Oh, that's weird. Um, I don't remember the screenshot button. What's the short key though for screenshot? Reset controls, action do, use tool, access menu, access journal, access map, move, chat box, emote menu, run, shift. Inventory, inventory, inventory. I guess I just click it. Just click it and hope for the best. <laughs> oh. Move it to my desktop. I wanna... The file is open? Oh, dang. Okay. How about now? Now is it open? Huh, weird. So I can't access the screenshot until the game closes? Hmm. That seems a little unrealistic. How much stone do we have? Do we have a hundred yet? Not even close.
Um, okay, let's go into town. We still have a lot of people to meet. I also haven't seen any wormies yet. Wormies. It does feel like there's more foliage around, like more trees and whatnot. I don't know how much I still need to meet Harvey. <gasps> Hello, Caroline. You must be Chi the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. We already met Vincent and Emily. Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Granny Evelyn. Caroline is so cute. Wish she wasn't married, right? There is a mod for that. There is a mod that makes all the NPCs marryable. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! <laughs> he says, <laughs> The polymod is cool, too. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that one, too. Humph. Alright, we still need to meet Haley. And who else? Marnie, Harvey. Oh, we technically haven't met. What's his name either? That runs the general store. Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Chi, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay. What all do you have? <gasps> it's a recipe for the dehydrator. 10,000 gold! Ugh. More polygons. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> Mischievous now. Where are my points gone? What are you talking about? You did? Was it last stream? I'm gonna say it didn't because I don't remember what it was. Um, and it's not in my queue thing. Oh, I'm too tired to do that. <gasps> also, I mumbo now. <gasps> oh, look at all the daffodils. Come here, daffodils. I take you. I vaguely remember you redeeming a sketch last stream. Something about a train. I had no clue. I had no idea what you were talking about. It's possible I accidentally clicked the thing. You're still hungry? I'm also kind of hungry. Let's give Linus a horseradish. He likes them. Here you go, Linus. I want you to have this. <gasps> That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. Let's go. You had a croissant! Still hammering away. Choo choo Charles. What the hell is that? I'm pretty sure that was the same response I had to. <laughs> Whistle! Whistle! 
A spider train? What the heck is a spider train? I'm gonna need you to be more specific. Since I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, well, I can't refund the points if it's not in the queue. So, I'm assuming what happened is it accidentally got checkmarked as completed when it wasn't actually completed yet. Which is pretty likely, because sometimes I accidentally click stuff. Uh, just, just try to remind me that I owe you a sketch next stream, because I probably won't do it today. The spider train, I don't know how else to describe it. If I Google Choo Choo Charles, is it gonna show up in on Google? BT dubs? Huh? <gasps> Alright, Tasha Leah. No. I didn't. I got sucked into watching crime documentaries while I wasn't feeling good. Shut up, it is not. No, uh, -uh. <laughs> Can I substitute the sketch to time someone out? Sure, that's fine, I don't care. If that's what you want to do. Kind of like Vivzy Pop. Yes, it is. No, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Three dandelions? I only, or daffodils, I mean. I only need one. Nobody else likes them, and they have uh, zero use to eat. So, I'll sell them. I would say time out of Kaz, but he will lose his big sword, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, don't, I can't time out the mods. You can pick somebody else to time out, though, except I think the mods are the only other people here. <laughs> oh, Swuffy's here. I streamed a lot earlier than usual. You can time me out, and I'll just set a timer on my phone. But then I have to remod you and stuff. It'll take your mod away. Rip Muda. <laughs> time me out for three minutes, please. Okay. Ow. Bonk. I don't know if this is adding time on or not. When I do it from mix it up, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it adds it together or it just does one. <gasps> I missed the living off the land today. Check for spring onions. Oh yeah, I gotta go get those. I had good luck today apparently. This lantern. There we go. I know, but I don't have a... <clears throat> I don't have um, that on Mix It Up. I just have a one minute or a five minute. I don't have a custom one. Because I usually just use the Mix It Up one for the one minute. Ba, 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 ba. Weather report. A light breeze. Expects lots of expects lots of flap 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 flap. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Expect lots of pollen. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. 
Oh, I already checked the weather. That's not what I want. I want to see my luck. Shower everyone with good fortune. Let's go! Good fortune! <gasps> we got mail! Whoa! To our value Jojimar customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to in it L61091 Jojico Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support. And patronage. <laughs> Morris. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just went... I went in there and talked to them. That was all I did. <gasps> Look! Parsnips! I keep one. I sell the other. Sell. Okay. We just have to go into the Jojamar and they will clear the landslide for free. Yeah, I went in there. And they cleared the landslide. Let's go. Now we can get to the mine. Which we probably should do because um, we'll get good luck. First we gotta go tend to the chuckens. Um, I'm gonna put this away. This way and this way. Maybe I don't have to talk to them? I can't remember if it always happens on the fifth- I can't remember either, honestly. I, I never remember what triggers what events, I always forget. Like, I always feel like it takes forever for uh, Demetrius to show up and set up the cave thing. But it's like after you earn a certain amount of money that he comes. Chicken! <gasps> Other chicken! Hello, babies! I love you! They cast time me out for an extra six seconds, so I demand compensation in the form of getting timed out for another minute. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you ain't getting squat! How about that? <gasps> Horseradish. I'm gonna eat it. No wormies yet. I have a 30 minute button. There you go. <laughs> Comes to stream. Timed out for entirety of stream. <gasps> Let's go in here! Marlin! Hmm. Here I come. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place. Undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Whoa. Here, take this. You might need it. <gasps> Sword! You'll get nothing and like it. How about that? <laughs> Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Whoa, not a member. Is it wrong to pick up ladies in a dungeon? No. <laughs> A ban hammer! No! <laughs> Let's go. Ladder found right away.
Yay, copper. Yay, more copper. <gasps> Ladder right away. Wait, there's a quartz thing. <gasps> Wait, there's a purple one. Oh, man, my good luck is sure showing. You got some new ideas to sleep on? What does that mean? That happened earlier, too. It came up. You found a geode. Only if your god, only if your god is Hest Hestia. It's also I know I've seen that anime. Reach level five. Okay. I might be able to do that today if I keep having all this good luck. Hello? There we go. <gasps> Slimes! Yourselves right between these rocks. Ow! Ow! You hurt me! Oh, wait, I thought I could get him like that. Yeah! <gasps> Crab! Cave carrot. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the slime. Ugh. There's so much stuff I want to pick up. <laughs> Wait. Hestia is bestia. She is something. Hestia is best. What's a Hestia? Um, I know. I can eat this. That'll make room. I'll eat this too. There we go. The main character's goddess. Oh. I haven't watched that show in a really long time. I've only seen, like, season one, I think. I have seen it. I've seen, like, season one, but it's been a long time since I watched it, so I don't remember character names. Whoa! Look at all that copper! Holy moly! The reaction on the fighting is so much better now. I saw that he said he changed something to do with fighting. I can tell the difference. It's like more reactive. Um, it is an early game because you needed to upgrade everything. We did it! I have to reach level 40. Not really getting any clay. 
But yeah, copper is good in early game because you have to upgrade all your stuff to copper first before you upgrade it to other things. Proven adventurers only. Okay. Wait, did I get the kill 10 slimes thing yet? No, I think I just have to get to level 40. It's a broken bridge. Okay. That's as far as I go. <gasps> Another waterfall. I love all the new waterfalls. They're so pretty. They look acute. All right, let's, um, it's going to be close. So he takes this stuff to Gunther, but we won't get there in time, so... Gunther. What else do I need to meet still? Marnie, the little girl, the doctor. Haley. Where the hell is Haley at? I never see her. <gasps> Marnie! Come here, I gotta meet you! Hello. Hey, Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I've actually been here for like five days, Marnie. I didn't just arrive. <gasps> Wait, there's a little girl I gotta meet. Come here! Come here, child. Hi! Okay. Thank you. That was insightful. Uh, I don't think I can meet the wizard yet. Ooh, dandelion. A dandelion. Oh, my inventory is full. No. I'm going to hold on to the crab. Because I think we need him for something in the community center, so I'm not going to get rid of him. Bum, ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum. So much wood. <laughs> Crab. Bug meat. The stuff we gotta take at least one to Gunther. I could sell the other one, honestly. I don't need it right now. We got a bunch of copper now, which is good. We can make copper bars when we get the chance. All right. Um, sword. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna move my tools to this other chest. I feel like that makes more sense. Are you guys in here? <gasps> Eggies. Wait, did I pet them today? I can't remember. Oh, they're sleeping. Okay, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, chicken! Eggs. We need some clay. Just like dig some up. Oh, 
Let's go night night. <gasps> Level one mining. Let's go. I did do a lot of mining. Let's check the TV. Uh, beautiful sunny tomorrow. Fortune. Ooh. Bad luck today. <gasps> Whoa. Spoopy. <gasps> we got mail. Also, Clint's here. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most of the ore you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Well, what do you know? Thanks, Clint. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Okay, bye. Thanks, Clint. <clears throat> I see you've been exploring the old mine. You got the adventurer spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes... You'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. Okay, Marlin. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What do we need to craft? The furnace. Stone and copper. 20 copper ore? Holy moly. That's a lot. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna chop this tree down after all. I was gonna leave it and let it live, but it can't. It's gotta go. We be smelting. <gasps> chumpkins! Hello, chumpkins! Fuck! I give you pets. Can I give you pets? Oh, I don't have no hearts. How come? You guys not like me? Do you want me to give you this instead of you eating the free range grass? Egg. Good thing the eggs don't spoil. <laughs> They'd be really gross. <laughs> Some money, I should go buy some more crops. <gasps> Daffodil. Oh, wait, I need to ruin my inventory. My inventory is full. Where, how come I haven't had any wormies at all? I haven't seen any of them. 
Kind of weird. <gasps> Burbs. Woo, I'm scared of birds. <laughs> Rain away, birds. Hello, Lola. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. I think Lola's gotta go potty. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town can use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Co. membership, I might just gonna, he gonna go ahead and sell it. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. Okay. <laughs> he sounds so depressed, and then he's like, come on, let's go in. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. <gasps> A Jumino! What? Poof. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> You're worrying me, Chi. Yeah, I'm worried too. <laughs> Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Whoa. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yeah, about that. Whoops. Alright. I gotta let Lola out real quick. So, let's take a quick break. Yum! And that'll be our B.
All right, we're back. All right, another cutscene. We'll go back up there and do that in a second because we can do that anytime. Let's go to Pierre's first and get some more seeds. Let's do some potatoes. And can I sell this to you? I can. Cool. Um, did I only do two parsnips before? Maybe I should do some more parsnips. No, I did five. Oh, I can only do four. That's all right. Let's do that. Uh, I think if we go turn some stuff to Gunther, he'll also give us some seeds. So let's do that. Let's go here first. I'm gonna beat you, Mayor Lewis! <gasps> I sat. Whoa, good thing we came here first. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Yes, he will. He's gonna. I'm gonna give him a bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see. Here you go. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Let's go! We like free shit. <laughs> Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. <gasps> okay. We'll do that, Gunther. Better get out here and do some treasure hunting. Oh, okay. Thought I was gonna get something already, but I guess not. Hello, Harvey. Pleasure to meet you. Finally met you. You're impossible to find and meet. Trash can. All right, I gotta go plant this stuff. We did all of our in-town business. Uh. Who do we still need to meet? Haley and the wizard. We'll meet the wizard when we do the community center stuff. Nobody is there. Oh, Alex might see me. I guess I won't do that one. Let's go do this real quick. <gasps> Daffodil. Mine. Bink. We're investigating the community center. Oh, there's a little guy. What's this? Oh, man, I can't read it. What's it say? Oh, geez. Okay. Guess that's it. What's this thing? Yeah, a giant pine cone house. Let's go. Bunch of rooms. There's some mushrooms over there growing. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> we did the thing.
How come there's not been any wormies? Where'd all the wormies go? Maybe we gotta go check the beach. Miss the bridge. <gasps> Wormies! <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I needed clay it's so bad. Sea critters. We probably have enough wood to fix that bridge. We should probably do that. I know we gotta do it before summer because there's like an event where it's like a bunch of stuff washes up shore or whatever. A bunch of coral and things. <gasps> oh, he didn't see me. He saw nothing, Willie. Actually, yeah, do you want one of these? Here you go. A gift? Thanks. You're welcome. Why not? <laughs> you like fishy things. <laughs> Alright, so I think we just have Haley left to meet, and the wizard will be the event. Actually, yeah, let's see if we can go find Haley. I'm gonna give her this daffodil when I find her. Maybe she'll like it, or she'll be a complete biatch. We'll find out. Where the heck is she? Is she in her house? No, don't eat the daffodil. Emily's here. Emily, you want a dandelion? Oh, she left. Okay. She's not in her room. Haley, is she up at the park? Sometimes she hangs out up there. There she is. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, hello. Oh, you're the new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me! <gasps> Money! Wait. Give someone a gift? I just did! Do you want a dandelion? There you go. Is this a gift? Oh. F fuck you too, child. How about that? <laughs> I just wanted gold, so meh. <laughs> Stupid gift. <laughs> pot. Can I put something in the pot? <gasps> I can sit at the picnic table! Stop. It's so cute! Nothing right up here I can pick up. I really need some more clay. If I just dig. Play is like the last thing I need so I can get a silo. <laughs> I just dug a trench. Perfect.
Oh, so the ones that look like they're rotten is potatoes. <laughs> it's not actually rotten. It's just like the green part of the potato or whatever. I only have three clay. I need more. Also, I need another chest. Crafting. Chest, please. This one is going to go here. And it's going to have this stuff in there. And it's going to be blue. Okay. I also still need a lot more stone, I guess. Um, can I craft fertilizer yet? I can't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Hmm, should I go to the mine? It's kind of late. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just cut down some more trees or something. You know, get the old farm cleaned up. Sometimes you can find clay in rocks, too. That's right, I gotta get to farming level one so I can craft a scarecrow too. I forgot about that. Starting to feel exhausted. I sleep. Hachi, how's the new update treating you? It's good so far. The new map, the new farm map is cute. <gasps> Level one farming, let's go. Now we can craft fertilizer. Ooh, and we got a charcoal kiln. How are you, Blair? I hope you're doing good. Queen of Sauce! Queen of Sauce here, teaching you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook this week's dish. Stir fry! It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now, breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you learned stir fry. Let's go. I'm well. Any news about job? Nope, not yet. Just that uh, they called me today and said they needed more of my job history. So I had to give them every job I've worked since high school. <laughs> Which is a really long time ago. <laughs> so that was interesting. <laughs> um, neutral. Okay. <gasps> we got mail. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius wizard. <laughs> Meet the wizard. Wizard. Whew. A lot to do. Okay. Um, what do we need to craft a scarecrow? Wood, coal, and fiber. We got all that stuff. 
We need a coal. We need some more fiber and we need wood. Crafted a scarecrow. We're gonna put him put him right there. Hello, scarecrow. Oh, I didn't want to plant that. Give me that back. <laughs> Alright, uh, that can go in here. This stuff can all go in here. Keep a couple of those and we'll sell the rest. And then I need my watering can. We got room for one, two, three, four, five more crops. We can go buy more. Hello, chumpkins. Hello. Gobble, gobble. Wait, that's a turkey. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Spagok. I'm gonna sell this one. I'm keeping some because I want to turn it into mayo. But I don't know when we get the recipe for that. It might be not till we... Bukkuk! Bukkuk! Bacock! <laughs> Your impression is great. You like my chicken? So I got good at a chicken impression because when I was a kid, they used to have that Cadbury cream egg commercial and it was like the bunny that, that clucked like a chicken. And it came on all the time, especially this time of year around Easter. And when I was a kid, I used to impersonate everything I saw. If it was a noise that I really liked, I would try to make the noise. So I got really good at making a chicken sound when I was like seven years old or something. <laughs> All right. Um, let me put away the watering can. And this. And this. And let's get out the sword. And I guess I will keep my hoe. And let's go talk to the wizard. And then we'll go into the mine. Maybe. Oh, while we're down here, we should get the green onions. The spring onion. <gasps> Dandelion. I don't want it. I don't want it. Resist. Also, can I throw this away? Cool. No, I don't want it. I'm going to throw it in the water. Can I throw it in the water? Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'll just throw it in the garbage can. Goodbye, fiber. <gasps> Green onions! Oh, they're only 18 energy? That's it? I thought they were worth more than that. <gasps> wormies! Get the wormies! I see them! We're gonna get the wormies! Huh. Oh no! It was more clay! I'm sad. 
Uh, my partner taught my youngest how to moo. It used to be cute until she started doing it to me whenever I tried to speak to her. Oh, no. <laughs> She's an interrupting cow. Have you ever, have you ever heard that knock-knock joke? With the interrupting cow. Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> it sounds like that's what she's doing. <laughs> Hello, wizard. <sighs> ah, come in. Okay. I am Resmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between a physical and ethe ethereal. Ethereal. <laughs> Fucking talk good. <laughs> Master of the seven elements, keeper of the sacred cha. You get the point. <laughs> And Yuchi, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Oh. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! <laughs> You've seen one before, haven't you? Yeah. It's cute. Are you hurting it? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Probably because you just zapped him from his home into the middle of a weird circle. <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see you for myself. I'll return shortly. Whoa. He poofed. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one of the forest, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Oh. Fancy. <laughs> hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Whoop. <laughs> Aha! Come here! No! My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. <laughs> no! Whoa, energy boost. She looks very sick, though. <laughs> this is where they have the trippy moment. <laughs> Whoa, we're becoming one with the forest. With all these pine trees, dude. Like, wow. Far out. <laughs> You've gained the power of force magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimal Scrolls. Did you just kick me out? 
Rude. Haley just kicked me out like that. So rude. Got me all messed up on your weird green juice. Can't believe it. Dandelion. Another dandelion. Whoop. 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 Okay. Back to the farm and drop off some things. Made it. Uh, I'm going to sell these dandelions. I'm going to put this clay in here. We need five more clay so we can build the thingy majig. We need some more copper. We're going to grow the mine. I'm going to drop off this and this and this. What's the other one? There's still another. Uh, forageable for spring. What is it? I can't remember. Buck. <laughs> no, it's not buck. Good try, though. What is the other spring forageable? There's always four in every season. Whatever it is, I haven't seen it yet, and I can't remember what it is. Hello, Caroline. I'll find out in a second when I check this. A leak! That's what it is. We don't have any leaks yet. Oh yeah, we need a, a cave carrot. I'm just gonna throw that one away. Another one. There's daffodils everywhere. But I need a leak. Alright, we got some food. Let's go to the mine. Kill some slimies. Get some copper. Um, let's try to get to little see how far we can get. Uh-uh, sir. No. No. Turn around. Can you? Jeez. What a pain. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's go. A lot of good stuff in there. <gasps> a copper. Let's go. My inventory is already full. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the sap and the slime.
You're gonna be a diggy duggy. I guarded too soon. Cave carrot, clay. Let's go. Hello? And then cave carrot. On the ladder, that's good. Lots of geodes, too. <gasps> oh, I will get rid of actually, let's eat this. Eat it. This one too. Yes, just die already. Ooh. Throwing out the seeds. And there's a quartz. Where's the ladder? Hello, ladder. I need you. There we go. Whoa, jackpot. Wow, I'm really lucky. This is a really lucky save file. Can't get him. Ow! Rude! Hi, Wambat! Got him. I'm gonna steal these. Oops. As well. Oh, I can't. I don't have space. Alright, well. We gotta go anyway. Let's get this copper. And oh, oh, monsters. I just want the slime because I have to kill ten of them. Oh, all right, we gotta go. We're not gonna make it home. Oh, we're also not gonna make it to floor ten. We gotta make a run for it, kids! Yum!
There's no way. <laughs> I can't remember. Is it one o'clock or two o'clock? I can't remember. Two o'clock. Okay. I'm okay. I still feel kind of cruddy. But I'm better than I was. Sleep! Let's go! Progress has been saved. Right. Living off the land. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Let's go. Uh, what else do we have? Fortune teller. The day is in your hands. Neutral again. And tomorrow will be sunny. Is that used to feeling cruddy? At least you're feeling somewhat. Yeah, a little bit. It's just my... You know, girl things. Robin here, I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. I don't want a well. I want a silo. <laughs> Alright, um, let's put this in here. And this in here, and this in here, and this in here. And... This I will need for something eventually, probably. This I'm gonna take to... Actually, I'm gonna keep both, because they're pretty good to eat. I'm gonna sell this parsnip. And I need my watering can. Yeah, my, uh... Cycle is really rough on me. So, I have the first couple days are really bad. I usually just hang out in bed. Ew, girl parts grody. <laughs> yeah, they're stupid. No, um. It's really bad, actually. And my whole life, doctors just keep telling me it's normal, but I don't think it is. But whatever. Where's the other chuckin? Is he in here? Hi, BB. I'm gonna take your eggies and give you a pet. Hello, chumkin. How's my relationship? Is it going up yet? It did! Did it go up with you too? Let's go! Alright, what are all the crops? Alright, so let's go run in town errands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus seven is what, 13? Yeah. I itch all the time I because of eczema. I also have eczema. I have a couple of skin conditions. One of them I have to use medication for like every day. For like ever, for ever in the rest of my life probably. Which sucks. <laughs> and then eczema I just get flare-ups once in a while. It's not too bad. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I would like to process geodes, please, sir. Please. <gasps> A new thing! Let's go! <gasps> A second new thing! Let's go! Copper! Let's go! Thanks, Clint. Goodbye. 
put lotion on the skin, otherwise it'll harden and I'll scratch until I make it bleed. Ouch. My daddy's- are you sure that's eczema? That sounds like psoriasis. Uh, my dad had psoriasis really bad. <clears throat> my dad had psoriasis really bad, and every once in a while he would have to get a blood transfusion because of his illness. Um, and his psoriasis would clear up for like a month or so, which was wild. <gasps> Cauliflower seeds! That's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I only need four, four more seeds. Let's buy more potatoes, I think. For turtles. I also still need a leak. We have kale too. 70? Holy moly. Let's get three of those for now. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. No. Hey, more clay. Feet. Uh, I gotcha. Yeah, mine's on my hands. <laughs> Mine is like, um, they kind of look like tiny little blisters, but there'll be like a, a lot of them and they'll be really itchy. And I only get it on my hands for the most part. I don't really get any results. Sometimes on my toes. But I just use like an eczema lotion from the pharmacy, like not a prescription, and it just, it helps. Mine's the genetic stress-induced ones. Ew, that sucks. Cause life's so stressful. Well, I have a lot of copper, we better get to smelting. Yep, eczema is the worst. I hate it. I when I worked food service, I got it really bad all the time from wearing gloves, and it was like from trapping all the moisture in my glove or like sweating or whatever. Your crappy jeans, give me this, yeah, mom. Damn it! How could you? How dare you not even think about wambat? When you were passing on your genetic material. <laughs> Alright, how many more slimes do we need to kill? Only two. They only started showing the last five years? Dang, that's that sucks. My mom has really bad allergies. Like, um... Environmental allergies. 
And I'm starting to get her bad environmental allergies as I get older, and it fucking sucks. So, like, every spring now I have bad allergies. Every fall I have allergies, and I never used to, and it's just the worst. <gasps> There's a leak! Let's go! I've been looking for one of these! All right, all right, we're gonna go to the mine again. We need to kill two slimes and get to level 10. Let's see if we can do it this time. I need copper, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just gonna worry about making levels and killing slimes. You butt, come here, punk. Stupid little glowy red eyes out of here. That. Who do you think you are, huh? Alright, ladder. Wait, I still want some of these lights. Stealing the torches. So I'm having so much luck in the mine today. What the heck? The other thing that kind of sucks is I really need something to eat. And I don't want to eat this leak. I just found it. But it has so much energy. It's only day eight. I have a lot of time to get another leak. I'll just eat it. I'm not trying to speed run the community center or anything, so it's all, it's all good. Alright, now I just need a ladder. Hello, ladder! Where are you? <gasps> coal, I really need this coal. Uh, Mixy, goodbye. Okay, maybe I'm not so lucky after all. Hello? Ladder? No, where is it? Oh, well, my luck ran out apparently. Where's the ladder? <laughs> I'm never gonna get out of here! Trapped forever. Oh, here it is. I ran out of energy. It's not good. Swinging a sword doesn't take energy. <gasps> Let's go. Ugh. I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> we got to level 8 again! Oh man, my luck totally ran out. I need food. I was trying to get over there. Maybe I could get a cave carrot. I'm gonna pass out. 
Don't you do it. Can I help? <sighs> now I'm sluggish. All right, we'll just go. It's going to take me an hour to get home. the worst. <laughs> I was hoping I could, I'd get lucky and I'd get a cave care, but my luck totally ran out for sure. <laughs> Dang. Two failed attempts to get to level 10. I pulled a Giga and I did too much and got sluggish. gonna take forever <laughs> oh my gosh this is so slow Oh, I finally made it. Get in the bed. <laughs> there we go. Refill with what? <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's find someone to read. I gotta go make a dinner. I'm real hungry. <laughs> Hmm, what do I want to read? I was ready, Zeph. She's also playing the update. The boy's a liar. She's on the same day we were. Day eight. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's go say hi to Zeph. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Probably playing more Stardew Valley. I might go live a little earlier again. We'll see. 
Because I love Stardew Valley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for all the love and support today and hanging out. I appreciate you so much. And I will catch you next time. Oh, wait. That raid call. There's a second one. There we go. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye.